Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Neo Asan Neo saying hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Finally, a beauty video. I have not done a beauty video all this year. It's been like six months, and I kind of was waiting for the right product. Don't ask. We'll get into that. And I guess the. I don't know if it's the right product, but I guess the product is the new Chanel uh, Le Bay Soleil Tan Deep in the um, 395, the 395. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts on this one, then stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, yes, we have Chanel. I know in the intro I just said I haven't done a beauty video in six months. That is not true because I did do a video on uh, the uh, Chanel this blush right here, blush and highlight, which I'm actually wearing today. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you guys, welcome back. My name is Neo. I love Chanel makeup. Um, I really do. I've been using it for well over. I won't age myself, but let's say well over 10 years when I can find products that work, um, I will buy them. And I have quite a lot of Chanel video, Chanel beauty videos here on my channel and I'll link them down below if you'd like to check those out and get an idea. Uh, get the perspective of a brown skin girl. Mm. So if you're new, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Um, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because your girl still doesn't have a regular posting schedule. Bad nail. Um, so you really gotta hit the subscribe notice so you can see when I'm posting new videos. But new videos like today where we will be talking about Chanel. Uh, yeah, so the product came in this lovely box. I got it from the Chanel website. As far as I know, it's only right now available on the Chanel website with this new deeper color. The packaging always screams a luxury because you're paying a premium for that box. Mm, yep. Yeah. Um, and so I did get my little card. I always send myself a special message because I'm special to myself. And then I got my two samples. I got my La Volume Chanel mascara, which is the best mascara in the world. Yeah, accept it. And then I got a little cleansing cream to foam um, sample. So that was pretty good. And this is what the product looks like course very classy very uh you know will look good on your vanity uh matches also the chanel loose powder right there fancy fancy love the packaging it's really great you get um let's see 30 grams or one ounce in weight of product and it's supposed to last 12 months although i will say this if you watch empty's videos this is one where you'll see people who can use it regularly have this as an empties um let me take that back the original formula will have that will usually have this so i'll show you guys what the deep looks like i can't do comparisons to the original formula which was marked uh, marketed as universal and of course was not so we we'll might just jump into that but um yeah that's what the deep looks like yeah, so this is $3.95, so I'm one of those people who's kind of hoping they will go deeper. So, yeah, I am wearing mainly a full uh, face of Chanel today. I got some Chanel goodies in here. Uh, I'm wearing the Ultra Le Tarte Foundation, and I also topped everything off with the Universal Powder. So, let's jump to the video, and then you guys will see. I'll come back with my thoughts. I am using my Lorac uh, brush here that is supposed to be a contour brush. It has stiff bristles, so I thought it would help in the application. And I got my mirror.
I'm gonna finish off powdering my face with the uh, Chukahudo. I think it's the G7, GS07, GSN07 brush, and then I'm gonna top off with my uh, Chanel loose powder in number 70. Check out that video where I talk about the this powder. It's a really good one. Um, it's it's goodness. It just floats like air. Definitely, definitely worth it. need to see if I can add more color with this. What do you guys think? Okay, I see something. I was watching Tara Lynn's video and she kept saying it was buildable. Right, so I'm sure when you guys were watching the intro, you were wondering, well, girl, are you wearing it? Yeah, <laughs> I'm wearing it. So yeah, we can go on this whole tangent about how Chanel is 2021. They need to do better with their color selection. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm here for that conversation. They need to do better. Was I excited to get this? Yes. I feel a little catfished though because when I saw the promo pictures, honestly, I thought it was deeper. I really thought it was deeper. Um, so yeah, they definitely could go one or two shades deeper. Um, that would be great. I do wanna do some swatches for you guys. Um, so I'm just gonna stick my finger in here. So there's CoverGirl, Dior, Chanel, uh, Physician's Bronzer, which is like my perfect color, and then of course, Hourglass. That's it. Just saying. So, uh, okay, swatch is over. Let's get back to, ooh. So tempting. Okay, swatch is over. Let's uh, get back to the Chanel bronzer. So I think the swatches tell us enough about the color. They can definitely go deeper. I mean, between them and the Dior, it would be fabulous if they went deeper. And I'm actually gonna, when I'm done with this video, top myself up a little bit with the Dior, just to get a little bit of color. So what I will say about the Chanel bronzer is I love the formulation. I've never used a cream bronzer before, but I thought it was very easy application and it just kind of like melted into my skin. So I did like the application and I felt like I could control it using my Lorac brush here, which is a really nice stiff brush. That part I liked. Um, I know I watched Mel Thompson's video when they did the reformulation, I think last year, and she didn't like this one because the very second product, the second ingredient in this is hy hydrogenated coconut oil. 
and so I think she felt maybe like it was a little too oily and it started breaking apart on her skin I don't know if Mel Thompson has oily skin or not I don't recall but I'm a dry skin girl so while I wouldn't want to use a coconut oil product every single day I actually didn't love this formulation I wore this all day yesterday and once it was on my skin I didn't feel it I didn't see anything breaking apart I didn't see anything laying on top of the skin I thought it looked really I thought the formulation was great uh, how did it look all way all day wear test <laughs> boy uh, I'm sure you guys saw in the video it was hard to, just to get it to show up like I have to put on quite a bit to get it to show up that's if you consider that showing up uh, I'm Matt I'm a Chanel I typically wear the 121 color for their foundations um, let's see Mac I know I've been matched to NW 43 or 45 depending on summer and then sometimes even NC 50 um, let's see uh, I think Giorgio Armani I can usually buy it the, the 10 or the 10 and a half um, so I have my ranges you know I'm not the deepest color when it comes to us beautiful brown skin girls uh, but I'm obviously clearly not the fairest and I think while it got on real nice it eventually just got swallowed up I by after a couple hours you can see it I mean <laughs> you can barely see it now and I've probably had it on the last 20 minutes so it it takes a lot of building to get it to kind of sort of show up Ooh highlighter is on fleek I love that so yeah I know I think if you are anything deeper than an NW40 then we we gotta wait for them to come out with an even deeper color but let's be honest guys it's Chanel uh, it's probably gonna be like six years <laughs> the thing about Chanel guys is that it's it's not the line you're gonna buy because you want bam makeup it's not the line you're gonna buy because you want someone to see your um, highlight from across the room it's not the line you're gonna buy because you want you know people to walk up to you and be like oh I really love your makeup it's not that line it's light it's blendable it's a bit more mature it has that flowery scent which actually let me see Mm, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but it's you know I kind of feel like I've really grown into wearing Chanel makeup because it is more of a mature line and I'm mature like fine wine, baby. I'm just gonna say that so who knows? Um, yeah, so Can they do better? Definitely. It's 2021. They need to speed it up You know there were rumors they were gonna come out with a darker one of these last year I know how long production lines take to ramp things up I know how long it takes cosmetic chemists and all that it's not a matter of just throwing in more pigment it, There's a science to it. I understand that but speed it up Let's get another deeper color because it's great. It's great. The formulation is great I love the way it applied I had to fight with it because I was trying to build it, you know, but other than that I thought it worked really nice during the day yesterday. I thought it was really even I thought it was easy like just want to show the swatches one last time Can they go deeper? Definitely. Definitely. Hope I hope they will. I, I really hope they will. It would be smashing if they did um, If you're any deeper than me if you're my color don't buy it unless you're like a real Chanel person like I am um, I would not buy it um, I would wait until they came up with something deeper because there's really not much you're gonna use it for you can't even use it as like an eyeshadow because you don't want all that um, coconut oil by your eyes uh, all day long so you're not gonna do that um, if you're fairer than me, yeah, I've seen I think Mono's Beauty has a video out. I know um, I'm not sure who else has a video out uh, on this, but that if you're fairer if you're more caramel complexion then yeah I th I think it would look great on those folks, but for us yeah, not so much so <laughs> Chanel needs to do better. They just need to do better. Am I gonna keep it? Probably. I'm um, I don't know 
maybe I'll hope and pray that come the the winter when my skin is a little bit more fair I'm gonna use it um, but hey whatever I you know I know people are going to say I don't know why you bought it because Chanel needs to do better but you know like I said I'm a fan of their makeup I've been using their foundation and their powders for years when I couldn't always find a match they've had something for me personally so um, yeah but don't buy it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't buy it. Sorry, Chanel. I can't recommend it. If you're lighter than me, I recommend it. If you're not, I don't. So that's it. Yeah, no. I, I, I hate to say it. <laughs> I don't I just don't recommend it but it's gorgeous it is it's a great formulation I love that but I don't recommend it so alrighty so I'm gonna um, add a little bit of color to myself So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna pick up here because I'm like surrounded by Chanel makeup all over the place and I'm gonna head out and wish my daughter luck. It's like a state championship today. So thank you guys. You guys are the best. Thanks so much for coming back. I hope you guys are choosing happiness. Um, you know, I kind of feel like COVID's over but people are still like not back to where they were. So we gotta be careful, you know. We gotta really continue to make the right choices for ourselves and the right choice is always to choose happiness thanks for watching